All right, everyone, we are here with the C4 Corvette today, the 1993 LT1, and we're going to address that thumping noise I still have. In one of the previous videos, I addressed it by uh, manipulating the rotor a little bit, and that seemed to fix it temporarily, but it still makes a noise. Demonstrated like this. Now, when the wheel's moving forward, the brakes are not applied, we get this weird thumping noise. So you notice very rhythmic. It's long and drawn out when the wheel moves slowly. It's very fast and short when the wheel, the wheel moves quickly. So, depending on speed, it changes the frequency and duration of that thumping noise. It doesn't do it when it goes backwards, it doesn't do it when you're applying the brakes, it does it when the wheel's moving forward. There's no obvious, used to not do that, I started doing it after I put those new pad, brake pads from NAP on the front, so, could be bad pads, doesn't do it on the driver's side either, it's only this side, could be bad pads, but, I suspect it's rotors, so, I bought new rotors, we're going to put those on, and then we're going to see what's doing, so, take the wheel off first, see if I can spin it and see and hear anything before we go further. All right, I apologize for getting in your way, but we're going to go ahead and take this off now. Using our deals. And of course, the lug caps, the lugs themselves are at 19 millimeter on this car. All right, let's see what's doing. It looks like the rotors at a certain spot is moving these, the whole caliper and the pads are shifting in this bracket. So, I'm thinking, so we'll see if changing the rotor fixes it. If it doesn't, then we're going to have to figure out how we can keep these pads from shifting around in here. I mean, it didn't come with any brake hardware. There wasn't any on there before, so that looks like what the problem is see it moving and hear it. Well, at least I'm guessing you guys can see it. So that's what the noise is. Alright, we'll see what we can see what kind of damage we can do. We'll go ahead and get this thing off and see if a, a new rotor helps. It'll be pretty obvious right away whether it does or not. Alright, so 19, or I mean, uh, 19 millimeter was the lugs. 21 millimeter is the caliper bolts. So, our 21 millimeter, we'll take the two bolts and hold the caliper and everything on. Alright, so I just cleaned this dude off, new rotor, sprayed it with our uh, brake parts clean. So now let's put this guy back on, put the caliper back on, and we'll see if we made a difference. If not, we're going to have to adjust the movement with the pads inside that caliper. I might need new pads, or I might need to see if they make some sort of hardware to quiet that down.
Alright, I got the rotor back on, got the uh, caliper kind of on, lock tighted, those two big caliper bolts. So we'll go ahead and torque her down now. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head what the torque specs were. I want to say they were 130 ish foot pounds. So that's what I'm going to go with because I don't rightly remember and I'm kind of too lazy to look in the book. But 130 something sounds right. Alright, let's see if we have any noise. Doesn't seem to have any noise, but I mean, there's still a little bit of movement here. So I suspect we're going to get some. Maybe not though, we'll put the wheel back on and we'll see with the lugs tied up against it if anything happens. Alright, wheel's back on. It's not torque the spec, but to give us an idea on what we got going on here. Yeah, believe it or not, it seems to swim more freely than it did earlier. <laughs> it's not making the noise. I can hear a slight dragging noise of the rotor dragging on the pad, but... Oh. We may have fixed her, boys! Alright, I got the other side to do, so I'll bust that out real quick off camera. And then we'll reconvene with a road test, I reckon. Alright, so here we are cruising around. Let's take a mean right on the page here. Alright, so I've driven around for a little while now. I've applied the brakes, I've taken some turns, and that thumping noise is gone. So we got no thumping noise. I got the windows down, so sorry about the wind noise, but just so you guys can hear or not hear that, uh, got it fixed. Now, I didn't record it before while I was driving, but trust me when I say it was obnoxiously loud. But I'm not feeling any vibrations. I'm not hearing anything. I think we're doing all right. So now we got no more knocking noise. Those rotors seems to have fixed it. Hooray! If that changes, I'll report back on it. Rotors. Good. So all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.